Where'd you go? You've got some explaining to do. Oh, uh, hey, we're going to upgrade some projects to uh, Swift 4 today. And uh, let's pick on the platform game starter kit over at cartoonsmart.com. Uh, I've actually already gone ahead and done all these. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to duplicate one of the Swift 3 ones uh, that I'm now holding on to for probably no reason. And let's change that to Swift 4. We'll dive inside of here. Who wants Swift 3 stuff now, right? Actually, Swift 3 and Swift 4, as far as Sprite Kit are concerned, are really identical. And I'll kind of prove that to you in this uh, video because there is really no lines of code that get changed uh, when we do this. And uh, let's let it load up for a second so it's to prove that these X's are not there in uh, the version I'm going to give you guys. This is actually, it kind of landed us here on the, uh, the the SKS file or the scene file uh, for the kit. This is just one of the demos. It's got some uh, cool kind of tile map examples in here and everything like that. So with these, with all these kits, what you basically do is you just kind of set up the scene. So you drag and drop stuff into here and then uh, you just specify properties inside of, you guess that the property list. So you're going to go through here and you just you can set up all your players, you know, what weapons they throw and all that stuff. And of course we document, uh, you know, all these different things in here. And uh, this is kind of a, one of the more in-depth examples. We've got a simpler one. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go over here and upgrade this guy. So uh, you'll notice that uh, over here in the top right, uh, it's going to say that uh, Swift conversion to Swift 4 is available and update to recommended settings. Uh, we're going to do that uh, right now. Let's just go ahead and click perform changes. Uh, anytime Xcode has um, uh, some sort of change and uh, they update it, update it, whether or not that's you know just a minor update like Xcode 9.01 will be the next one or something like that, right? They're probably going to give you something, some uh, an upgrade update to validate validated settings or something like that. I always just hit perform changes. I don't worry about really backing up too much. I've never found those to be a problem. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're going now from, you know, taking one of your old projects to Swift 4, you might want to back up at this point or earlier than this point. And uh, let's go ahead and, and click on this and we're going to make this conversion. So it's just going to do it for the iOS target. And uh, you can see I've, I've, this is my iOS target. If you do have multiple targets, like tvOS as well, you're going to have to do that separate, but uh, it doesn't take that much longer. Uh, all right, so here's the fork in the road for this whole deal. Uh, you know, you can go over here to match Swift, Swift 3 behavior. And if you do that, you're pretty much done at this point. But what it's going to tell you is that your product will have a larger binary size. So I'm sure everyone now is like, ah, no, 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 go back over here to recommended. We want the reduced binary size. And when you click on next, it's going to tell you that some manual steps are necessary. And I'm going to tell you what that manual step is. So, uh, well, all right. So this project has like maybe 15,000, 20,000 lines of code. I don't know. I can't remember. They're always big at the end. Uh, and we when I make these kits, I usually end up touching on pretty much everything that Sprite Kit can do, right? At some point or another. And uh, and it's all, the only thing it's done here is it's added in at Objective C in front of a few functions, okay? And uh, the way I've kind of read about this is, uh, or the way I take it is that, I guess under the hood, there's always some sort of bridging between uh, Swift and Objective C. And now what we've done is we've kind of minimized that. Okay, so only in these specific places now um, does this function kind of tap into, or calling this function does it tap into like Objective-C, okay? And the reason for that, or, or really just kind of the pattern here, is, is like why it does it with those functions, is you'll notice that in certain lines of code, like the no notification center, uh, when we add observ uh, an observer, we're we're using this like uh, hashtag selector and then identifying the the uh, the function you know after that through here and those are the only ones where that's necessary so yeah uh, like with the notifications i think there's another example in here uh where we yeah tapped menu that was based on a gesture recognizer being called so it's just stuff like that um, but yeah that's it otherwise there's no change to the code so really it's just kind of a little prefix that uh, with five or so functions in this entire project all right uh, now the manual step that you've got to do that is over here under targets uh, we're going to go over here to our build settings type in here swift 3 and you've got your Swift 3 Objective-C inference set to on. You want to set that to off. Go ahead and do it for your tvOS target now if you've, if you've got a tvOS target. And uh, you would notice that if you made a new project in uh, Xcode 9, 
like started one from scratch, this inference is already going to be off. Okay, so, so basically that was it. That was our manual step. And at this point, you can go ahead and run the thing. I mean, I'll just hit run to just kind of prove that it, it does build up fine. It's going over here to my phone, so it's, you're not actually going to be able to see it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is it. That's all you got to do to um, to upgrade your projects. And again, the, the big nice thing here is that you know, if you've coded a lot in Swift 3, you really don't have to change anything in uh, Swift 4, at least as far as, uh, as, as Sprite Kit is has concerned. And I think kind of going forward with the language itself, uh, you know, there's, it's like, I, I think at some point you kind of, they kind of perfect it, you know, or, or come close to it. And, and, and when you think about like a, a, between actions, well, listen, action script, if anybody remembers that language, I mean, that was like done at three, you know, there was never an action script for, uh, so it's like, you know, projects from 10 years ago are still, still fine as far as that goes. Uh, so anyway, I think at some point, uh, they're just going to be like, uh, you know, we nailed it. <laughs> we, we got it all done. It's all good. Uh, but, uh, yeah. All right. So I will see you guys, uh, over at uh, cartoonsmart.com. Whenever you get a chance, got tons of cool stuff over there.